If you can't tell from that Blu-ray Digital HD DVD by Funimation what the title of this video is going to be, then obviously think there's something wrong with you. The purpose of this video is going to be a Meyer Academia Chapter 237 titled Shigaraki Tamura Origins. I was about to say Shimoru, but it's just Shigaraki Tamura. But further ado, let's get into this video now. After massacring his family, killing his family, his mother, his grandmother, his grandfather, his father, in Inachan, he was just walking on the street in public, people kind of looking at him, kind of not, comes across a lady. That lady looks down on him, he's like, oh, are you lost? Do you need some assistance? And then she looked down on his face, froze. What she saw was the most horrifying thing she could ever possibly imagine on a kid. His face was little. His eyes shrunk. Well, eyes little and shrunk. His eyes dark. He has a smile. And there's a blood. Blood stain on the side of his cheek. She just froze up. She's like, oh, don't worry. A hero or a police officer will come to your assistance. And she went to her office. Mind her own business. Assistance never came. And crime on that city was happening left and right. So that was no rare occurrence that crime was happening. You know, Shigaraki was so mad that he had this itch, he had this urge, he couldn't get rid of it. If someone would have helped him, he probably would have gotten through it. Nobody helped him, so he went into hiding. Under a bridge in the city, he was founded by a man and took him into a building. That man told him that itch basically means your body just can't contain it any longer. You need to let loose. That itch, that itch is telling you to do something, and if you keep it contained, you're just hurting yourself. So after telling him that, um, Shigaraki got into a fight with some street thugs or alcoholics in an alley of that city. Remember that um, the crime rate in that city is very high. It was left happening left and right. So he, Shigaraki or Shimoru Tenko got in the way of two street thugs and they kind of pushed him. They kind of beat him up. He's like, you got in our way. You know, we're going to beat you up. You're just a kid. We don't care. So after getting beaten up, after holding back. You know, then the man said, why don't you follow your heart? And why be afraid? You're only hurting yourself. Which to extent he's not wrong. I mean, he held back his quirk, held back everything, and basically Shimar Denko got hurt. You know, he honestly thinks societal, um, con yeah. societal conducts are just bullcrap. It was um, designed or created by a man who wished everything to be in harmony. Obviously, it's not going that way. He told himself, don't hold yourself back because of that and do what you want to do. So basically, the man told him, do what you want to do. So Shimaro Tenko, what do you want to do? And Shimaro's like, I want to kill both of them. He was like, well then, I see. Good luck. So after going back into that alleyway, the science looking guy and the man were sitting on top of a building as Shimaru using his cork. With the two street thugs, he was killing them. Now, as that was going on, they were conversating. You know, they, he was giving hands, all right? Those hands resembled his family members, or the family members he killed. And their memories, he has them, and they're stored deep within inside of himself. He still has them, but he just kind of can't tap into them because they're stored into him. All The only thing he's writing off of is residual emotions and feelings and he's not using the full extent of his quirk. He's not really using the full power of his quirk. He's holding himself back still, even though he's using his quirk. He managed to kill the two guys, but he's still holding back his quirk. You know, he's going to be the symbol of terror. He needs to create mass destruction and use his quirk at 100%. You know, and it's kind of like Plasu Altera, you know. For Shigaraki, you know, they, they want him to use his quirk to the full extent. Use it very powerfully and use it to 100%. And, um, you know, basically after Shigaraki killed the two men from earlier, those street thugs, you know, with those hands, he was reborn as Shigaraki Tomura. Tomura means to mourn. You know, it's a word of pain, grief, sorrow, death. Anything relating to death and sorrow, anything related to it, any word that means something negative, to mourn is in that category. And Shigaraki is the name of that man that found him under the bridge's last name. So Shigaraki Tamura was born. So now we come back over to the present, and Shigaraki's in his inner dialogue, in his, in his mind. He's like, no, this world never needed a future. When I killed my family, 
my heart and my well-being was at ease. I finally got to rest. You know, I don't need any of this around me. Everything is bullcrap. Basically, this point. And as he's in thinking of this, Redestro's beside him in his shadow or stress form. And Gigan Tamachi is just destroying things left and right. Every building in sight is man manhandled, destroyed. Everything is dismantled. You know, twice in um not spinner, tw um twice in Mister Compressitis, and then twice calls out to Dobby like, "Do you see this, Dobby? You need to stop stop doing what you're doing, Dobby. Do you see that? You know." And as he's Gigan Tamachi is destroying everything, he's heading towards Shigaraki. And then after that, and after Shigaraki said he doesn't give a crap about anything, the spitter then yells Shigaraki like, look out, Gigan Tamachi is coming at you. You know, and I'm excited to see what happens next chapter. So that was the end of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Hit the subscribe button for more content like this. Hit that gray bell to be notified when I make these type of videos. I'm signing out.